Dusty, say hi to the vlog. Say hi to the vlog, Dusty. Hey YouTube, Carlo here. Welcome to the vlog. In today's episode, we have a very special, special unboxing. I was able to get my hands on the new Adidas Parley Ultra Boost DNA 6.0. Yes, we're already 6.0 when it comes to the Ultra Boost, which is kind of weird because the 5.0 just came out like a couple of months back. But anyway, uh, we'll unbox it, take a closer look, put them on feet, and I'll share with you guys my thoughts about the sneaker. Let's go! Now, before we get started, a couple of things. Number one, please do give this video a thumbs up. It really helps out with the channel. Number two, comment down below at any time during the video what you think of the shoe. Just let me know your thoughts. I'll try my best to reply to as many of you. And quick shout out to Good Souls PH for hooking me up with this pair. Looking for it so that I can able to bring you guys this review. As you can see, it comes in this special brown recyclable carton box uh, with the Adidas and Parley logo embossed at the center. Uh, you have the details of the shoe over here along the side. I did get it true to size, size 12. I, I would have wanted size 12.5. I usually go half size up uh, because of my wide feet, but this was the only size available. It retails for 8,900 pesos here in the Philippines. And with that said, let's, you know, pop the box open and take a closer look at the shoe. Ba bam That is clean AF! The tissue paper over here does have some sort of QR code. And if you hit that with the camera of your phone, it leads you to the Adidas Parley website wherein it talks about the partnership with Adidas and Parley Save the Oceans. Basically, it's been running for five years now and Adidas has been using recycled materials from oceans to be able to build different parts of their shoes. And this one, the Parley Ultra Boost 6.0 has more recycled materials than ever. What is different with the Adidas Ultra Boost Parley 6.0 compared to the 5.0, 4.0 and different earlier versions? Well, uh, just looking at them, there is one big difference that you can already tell. It's the lace cage as well as the heel cup. They used apparently materials from recycled fishing nets. Uh, that's what you're seeing when it comes to this cage over here. Same material that you can find here along the heel cup. That I think is the singular biggest change because while there is a change in the knit pattern, I don't see it as a major, you know, big change, like a super different one compared to the previous generations. By the way, quick shout out to Heskix. He did a video of this one and he mentioned that this part over here resembles like uh, a Pokemon. So um, I'm kind of seeing it as well, kind of looks cute, but I don't think that's the intention of uh, Adidas. So another change is that when it comes to the tongue tap over here, it is also now made out of the same recycled knit material, no longer mesh. Uh, to be honest, I don't see a problem with it. I kind of like the look, I kind of like the feel anyway. So I have no complaints when it comes to that. And just like with other Ultra Boosts, if you take a look at the bottom, you have the Continental outsole, which helps with traction and increases the durability by protecting the boost part from the bottom of your shoe. Now, when it comes to the style and the overall look, this is one of my favorite Ultra Boosts to date. I just love the overall vibe. I mean, the clean white color with that almost bluish heel cage and heel cup just looks really fresh. And then that's the main reason why when I saw it uh, online, I knew that I, I really needed to get one because it was a design that I connected with. And it was such a big bonus that it actually stood for something more than just, you know, your typical training shoes. Uh, it had that connection with the Save the Oceans Parley movement. How is it on feet? Well, I don't know because I haven't worn it yet. But I have a big feeling that it will be very similar to the 5.0, 4.0, 3.0 oh, when it comes to the cushioning because the boost doesn't look different compared to the previous generations of the shoe. It's really just the upper that they reworked. And speaking of on feet, that's what we'll do right now. I'll get back to you guys in a bit on what I think about the sneaker. Yep, just like I guess, the shoe feels just like the Ultra Boost 5.0, 4.0. It is comfortable. The cushioning is there. The support is there. It is not as thick as the 21, 20, or 19, but it gives you a more stable, balanced, everyday feel to the shoe. My take has always been the 19 to 21s are your performance Ultra Boost. They're the ones that you use if you really want to run. Uh, but when it comes to like more casual wear, everyday wear, urban wear, street 
streetwear athleisure, I really feel that the 1.0 to the 6.0 is geared better for that type of situation. Now again, one of the big worries when people see white sneakers is that they get dirty fairly quickly and I don't disagree with that. And as somebody who loves white sneakers, as you can probably see from the wall behind me, uh, one of the things that I do to make sure that they're constantly you know, spotless is I use uh, stain protectors. So I'm a big fan of Crep Protect sprays. I use them all the time, especially if I'm rocking knit sneakers that are in white like this. So guys, do I recommend that you pick up an Ultra Boost 6.0? Um, well, it depends. I mean, seriously, if you don't have an Ultra Boost yet, and you're getting into the hobby for the first time, my recommendation would be that you get like a previous generation that's on sale. Because a lot of Ultra Boosts are a crazy price down, marked down right now. You go to the outlet, there are a lot of Ultra Boosts. If you go online on the Adidas website, I'm sure you can find a couple of Ultra Boosts that are also on sale. So if you're a first timer into the world of uh, Ultra Boosts, I think it's better that you just spend uh, you know, your hard-earned money on a heavily discounted pair. Now, if you are a serious Ultra Boost collector, if you love Ultra Boosts and you've been thinking and been saving to, you know, for a specific model uh, like this one, then now's maybe the chance for you to pick one up. But rest assured, guys, it just give it a couple of weeks, a couple of months. I'm sure more colorways will come out. The discounts will start to happen and you can save your hard-earned cash and buy, you know, sneakers like this at a much better price than SRP. By the way, another thing that you can do if you really, really want to upgrade to a 6.0 from your previous generation Ultra Boosts, you can just sell sneakers that you're not wearing anymore so that it, you know, it gives you additional funds to buy new pairs. The, the great thing about shoes is that they have great after aftermarket demand. You probably won't be able to sell it nowhere near how much you bought it for, but at least it will help, I don't know, like diffuse the overall cost or lower your total acquisition cost by using the funds that you got from selling that shoe and buying a new one. So what do you guys think of the Adidas Ultra Boost 6.0 Parley DNA? That's a really long name. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. As usual, I'll try my best to reply to as many of you as possible, given that this is a really interesting, nice looking sneaker. Guys, if you missed my previous vlog where I talked about our store uh, in Greenhills that's about to open this June, check it out. I will link it down below. I give you like a guided tour uh, in the different spots and give and show you the perspective drawings of what it will look like. It's linked down below. And at this point in the vlog, it won't be complete without our favorite Carlo Cook segment. So come along with me. Let's cook some scallops. So in today's Carlo Cook segment, magluluto tayo ng scallops. So bakit pa natin ginagawa itong Carlo Cook segment? Training to guys. This is the training. Because someday nangangarap ako makakolab ko si Ninong Rai. So training lang tayo. By the way, ulitin ko lang, beginner po tayo sa cooking. I have no cooking background or expertise. Everything that I do is based out of stuff that I watch on YouTube. Okay, game. So we have the scallops over here. Actually, I've been letting it rest siguro for 20 minutes para room temperature siya. Kasi mas madaling lutuin that way. And then we have our seasoning. So this one is a mix of salt, pepper, I think some garlic powder na nakuha ko din. Uh, and then yung lalagay lang natin dyan on both sides. Hayaan natin uminit yung pan, lagyan natin yun ng butter tsaka olive oil. Tapos siguro mga 1 to 1 and a half minute per side uh, nung scallops. Come with me and you'll see. So yan, hayaan na natin dyan. So yung butter is there para bigyan ng lasa, mas dagdag lasa dun sa scallop. Tapos yung olive para wala lang, pandagdag tsaka para hindi masunog yung butter. So we leave it just there for one minute or one minute and a half. Pagkatabaw, dapat wag niyo daw gagalawin yun napad ko sa YouTube. Kasi pag galawin niyo, hindi daw siya magsisir ng maayos. Tapos hindi daw maganda yung kulay. So ayan natin matusta ng konti. Tapos pagkas nun, babalik tayo natin. Tapos yun na, game na. So yan na siya. Ayan, nabalik tayo natin. Kung napansin niyo medyo brownish na siya. So another minute in the other side. Tapos we'll just put it here and then good to serve. Misis nagtotoast ng bread. We know niyang garlic butter bread. Actually, I was really surprised with scallops because initially when you hear it, it sounds so complicated, it sounds so social. But in reality, it's not that hard to cook. So, <laughs> panalo! Lapit na! Butter, garlic, chuchu. Ayan na yun, Scallops. So, titikman natin ng scallops. Panalo! 
Okay, and that wraps up the vlog for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. As usual, this is Carlos signing out. Peace. God bless. What's up? Boom.